guys, Katie here and welcome back to my channel, Kate's Crates. Today I have a little bit of a haul to show you. Um, so this past weekend I was out in Vegas visiting my mom and also celebrating my 21st birthday. Um, I had a lot of fun and also had an opportunity to go to a few record stores when I was down there and had a lot of fun um, digging at the record stores. But before I get into that, I just want to like thank all of you. Um, who have taken the time to comment on my video, all of you guys that have subscribed to me, I can't believe that I'm over 100 subscribers. And it's just because of this amazing community. Um, so many of you have been so nice and so great. Um, I've just been so grateful because a lot of you have given me shout outs and I just really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, just thank you so much. Um, I've had a lot of fun so far and I can't wait to see where this journey will take me. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> birthday record haul. Got some birthday money, sold some Christmas money. Um, so I thought I'd treat myself and get some records. Um, before I get into that, I would like to show some pictures. I, my mom got me this really cool cake. I'll put a picture slash video right here. Alright, so this is the cake that my mom got me for my 21st birthday. I'm visiting her in Vegas. It looks so cool. It is a record. Um, it's just so awesome. It has a pink label with my name, happy birthday. And then it's purple with some music notes and we're up you can kind of see the city in my reflection but yeah it's pretty cool definitely an awesome 21st birthday all right so that was the cake and kind of our view um, I had a ton of fun in Vegas but anyways let's get into the records I got quite a few um, and I'm gonna try to show them in chronicle chronological order on what I got so First up, I went to Zia Records. They actually have two locations in Vegas, so this was the first location I went to. Um, it was the one that was closer to UNLV, if any of you have ever dug in Vegas or from the Vegas area. That is um, my first stop that I went to, and I got one record there. I didn't have very much time. Um, I think I had like 40 minutes, um, so I didn't have a lot of time, but I ended up getting um, this uh, Youngbloods album. This is Get Together. Um, I've only ever heard the song Get Together, but I really like that song, so I figured I'd pick up this album. I was in great shape. I think it was, yeah, it was $4.99, so it was pretty cheap. Um, I figured I'd give it a listen. It was in great condition, like it looks flawless. And I kind of like the album cover. It's kind of cool. It's colorful. Um, so yeah, I picked that one up. So first pick up, the Young Bloods Get Together. Then, um, I went to the other Zia Records location. Um, I don't know if it was on the same day, it might have been a day later. I got several records from this, from this stop, so, um, I think these are all country. Um, yeah, they are. So the first up is this Willie Nelson album, City of New Orleans. Um, I love Willie Nelson. Um, I've heard, like, a handful of his songs, but I don't think I've ever, like, actually sat down and listened to a whole Willie album. So I figured I'd pick up a couple that had a ton. Um, it was weird. At this location, all the country records or like at the bottom I had to dig, like the country and folk section. I was like, surely they have one, but it was like kind of hidden down below. But there's actually some good stuff in there, so I was happy that I um, got down on the floor and started digging. But yeah, uh, City of New Orleans by Willie Nelson. Picked this one up for six bucks. I really loved the album cover. Thought it was a pretty good price, and this it just looks like it's in pretty flawless condition too. The record looks great, and the sleeve looks pretty good too. So, picked that one up. Um, then I got another Willie album. Uh, this is Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Um, this one was only $4. Again, it looks like it was in great shape. So I thought I'd pick it up. Um, but yeah, another Willie album. I can't wait to give these a spin. School did just start back up, so my time is going to be in so many different directions. I'm in nursing school. I graduate in August, so it's going to be really crazy from like now until August, because I also have to go this summer. So it'll be a pretty crazy um, next few months, but I have some music to get me through it. So I picked up that one. Then, this was one of my favorite finds from the weekend. It is Zach Brown Band's The Foundation. I listened to this album so much growing up. Uh, my mom and dad both really liked this album and it played quite a bit. Um, and it just, like, every single song on this album is so good. Um, you've, if you've listened to, like, country radio, you probably know Toes. Um, what else is on here? That's Where the Boat Leaves From is a fun one. Free Chicken Fried. Chicken Fried, you know. I'm sure you know that one, too. Um, yeah, this is just such a good album. I was so happy to find it. It's sealed. Um, I did pay $23 for it, but I have never seen this one out when I was digging. And it's one I've been looking for every time I go to the record store. So I was super happy when I saw this and snatched it up right away. So yeah, 
chicken, um, the foundation has chicken fried on it by Zach Brown Band. Alright, then my last, um, I did go to, actually, this wasn't my last stop, I went to another record store, but I can't remember the name of it, if I think of it, I'll put it here, but I ended up not getting anything, didn't have a ton of time there, but I just didn't see anything, it was pretty close to Fremont Street, um, maybe it was like 11th Street Records, I didn't have very much time, but I just didn't see anything, um, in there that like piqued my interest. I also, like I said, didn't have a lot of time. So if I had more time, I maybe would have picked something. I almost did a blind buy there because I hate like, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like like going into a record store and not buying anything. Like, I don't know why I just feel kind of bad. Um, but I ended up not picking up anything there. Uh, anyways, on to the next one. I went to Record City and I got, I think this is where I might have picked up the most records. He had a lot of cool stuff. I can't remember the store owner's name, but he was super cool. Um, he actually gave, my mom was with me, um, and she got a couple records, but he actually gave us, like, free stuff, and he was super nice. So, anyways, let's get into this record city, um, show off. So, first I'm going to show off the two records that my mom got. My mom does not have a record player, but she's like, well, when I come visit you in Indy, I'll have stuff that I want to listen to. Because I don't think, I know, she likes some of my music, but a lot of it I don't know if she's really into, but. Anyways, first off, we have Kenny Rogers' Greatest Hits. Can't go wrong here. Um, rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. He died last year, which is really sad. But um, yeah, greatest hits. I mean, this I've heard a lot of these songs growing up. Um, my mom loves country music, so I've heard a lot of country stuff. Um, but yeah, greatest hits. This says it was six dollars or seven dollars, but I think he like gave my mom like two dollars, one or two dollars off this record, and then gave her the next record she picked out for free. Um, but yeah, so this was Kenny Rogers' Greatest Hits. It's in great shape, too, so I'm excited to spin this one. I'll probably end up <laughs> listening to it before my mom comes out, but there's that one. Up next, we have a Juice and Newton record. This is called Quiet Lies. I don't think I've ever heard of Juice Newton. I have no idea if this is any good. My mom says it's really good, so, you know, I'll, I'll listen to it and report back. But yeah, so I've never heard this, but he ended up giving this to my mom for free. Um, I think he had, a, a, like, $2 or something in the store, but he's just like, oh, you can have it. So, yeah, this is a Juice Newton record, and I have no idea. I have nothing to say about it, because I've never heard anything on here. So, there's that one. Then I'll get into the stuff that I picked up. Um, the first one is Desperado by the Eagles. Uh, I recently picked up Hotel California um, back on New Year's, and um, I really enjoyed it. I've heard, like, some Eagles songs, like, on here, I've heard the song Desperado. I've also heard the song, I think, Tequila Sunrise. Yep. I've heard those two songs on here. But I really liked Hotel California, and I'd only ever heard of the song Hotel California. So I'm like, um, I like the Eagles sound, so I decided to pick this one up, and it was in great shape. So there's Desperado by the Eagles. Then, um, picked up The River by Bruce Springsteen. This is my first Bruce Springsteen record. I don't know why, because I've listened to, like, quite a bit of his music. But again, I don't think I've ever like actually sat down and listened to one of his full albums. So this will be a good one, because it's a long album. Um, double LP, but yeah, I'm excited. He actually, get, the guy at the store gave me this one for free. With I'll show you this other album I purchased. But he's like, oh, here, you can have this for free. Because he asked us, is this your first time in the store? And I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, so I'll give you this record for free. So that was super nice. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend that record store, Record City. Um, it was really nice of him to do that. But Rubber by Bruce Springsteen. Look forward to listening to that one in its entirety. And then this next one is one of my favorite pickups. Um, it is Brave and Crazy by Melissa Etheridge. Now, I um, actually have this album on CD. Um, but when I saw this, I was really excited because I've actually been looking for her stuff and I've been out and about as well. Um, and I, I Sometimes I'll find her first album. I don't know if it's self-titled or what the name of it is, but it's like a red cover. I'll throw a picture over here or something. Um, but I usually see that one out, but usually it's in really rough shape, but I've never seen this one out, and I, I think this might be my favorite one of her albums. Um, like, the first song, No Souvenirs, is a really good song. I also really like um, You Can Sleep While I Drive, so I was super happy when I saw this one in the record store. And then I, like, took it out, I'm like, please be in good condition, and it was in great condition. So I picked that one up, and probably one of my favorites, this and the Zac Brown Band um, album are probably my two favorite um, pickups, but those are, like, the only two albums, I think. Yeah, and everything I picked up that I've actually listened to in its entirety. So um, I have a lot of new music to go through here, um, which will keep me busy um, on top of school. So anyways, that is my pickup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I'd love to hear what, if you've heard of, I'm sure you've heard of some of these, but what your favorite pickup is um, that I picked up. Um, definitely a lot of cool stuff there, I think. Um, but yeah, I don't really have that much more. I just want to thank you all so much again 
for all of your support, your comments, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys wouldn't mind liking this video, clicking that subscribe button if you haven't. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, peace out.